video. I'm about to go start digging peanuts. So I need this tractor and I gotta unhook it from this air seeder. So first thing, all my hydraulic hoses, gotta un unhook that. Once I got all this done, I gotta go park it by the shop and actually take off the drawbar because if I'm hooking it up to a peanut digger, can't have this on there because there's a disc right there in the middle that'll hit that so I'll just unhook it here by the shop that I went so we're done using this tractor for the peanut digger all the draw barn parts and everything is going to be all here in the shop and it'll be easy to hook it back up to the air seeder once we're done digging peanuts with it Well, the draw bar is off there now. Now just to go hook on the peanut digger. This right here is what I mean by it comes too close to here and I seem to have a hydraulic leak. Ah, oh, that's where it's coming from. That is not good. I'll have to fix that real quick. I think I can just maybe uh, hit it with a hammer a little bit, try to get that ring to pop out and we should be good. All right, yeah, we're good. No more leaking. I don't want that. So the only thing I need to really connect here is just the hydraulic hoses. This peanut digger is hydraulically driven. It has two hydraulic motors, one on this side and then one on that side, and then belts that bring it to the back. So I just gotta quickly hook it up and head to the field. And while I'm at it, might as well fill up a little bit on diesel. And she's topped off already. So this right here is actually the new peanut digger that we picked up at the beginning of this year. Well, new to us, not brand new, but it was in really good condition. We bought it at an auction. So we still went through it like we would any other digger. We put all new chains on there and fixed a few bearings. You named it, put those bars on top of there. So we can head to the field now and see how well she works. And we're digging peanuts with three diggers. This A row, we got that A row right there. And then a six row, which is currently on that end of the field. So we're moving quite along pretty quick. We're covering acre, acres today. We're probably not gonna finish this field, but by tomorrow this, this field will be done. And this is a 230 acre field. So not bad. This field does have it's 
not a disease. Well, yeah, it gets, it's sick and it's crashing as you can tell. There's lots of dead vines already. This field we were trying to wait as long as possible, but it it is, we are digging it prematurely, but we have to due to all the sickness that it currently has in the field. Yeah, I will say though, this tractor is definitely a little bit overkill than what's necessary. 370 horses is a little, a little on the high side. Barely using any power whatsoever. That 280 on the other hand is like the perfect job, a perfect tractor for this job. Yeah, and in, in some areas, you know, the vines, they look a little bit small. This field got hit with a lot of things, so we're kind of stuck with what we got. But overall, it's not gonna be the worst. Still looks all right. Hopefully we'll get, I'm, I'm, we're hoping for at least minimum 4,000 pounds. We'll see what we'll actually get though, but it doesn't look the worst, but when you look across the field, in most areas you can see there's a lot of the wilt, the wilt that, the diseases and everything. You, uh, this field, this field is not our greatest, but it is what it is. And of course, not the whole field looks that bad. There's, there's good spots in the field. It's not all as bad as what I'm saying it is. We'll still get a decent yield off of this field. Not complaining. Let's take a look at the peanuts a little bit. They're not the worst. Still got plenty of peanuts on there. Not 100% ready, but they're gonna be close enough as what they're ever gonna get. But we're covering quite a bit of acres, with, especially with three diggers going. We're gonna get well over 120 acres done, more than what the combines can for sure harvest in a day. So we're just gonna finish this layer that I'm on right now, and then the other two diggers are on that layer. We're gonna finish these two layers, and then we're gonna call it it for today. Might take us another hour, hour and a half or so, but we're gonna be done here pretty soon. It won't be any late days. Some of these, you can tell the vines are getting pretty bad already. Some of these they don't they don't look the healthiest a lot of a lot of this kind of falls off already it's getting very weak so we're losing quite a bit but we waited as long as what we could might have to switch from switch to maybe corn on this field next year or something every single time in the past when we put peanuts on this field on on these fields well sorry just this field you can only do peanuts two, two years in a row or two times back to back or if you do one rotation so you plant peanuts next year cotton and then peanuts again then you get you get lots of this the first year is bad second year is manageable and third year it's not the greatest it is what it is we might we might plant corn here next year and do silage. So we'll see what'll happen. I don't know if we'll put peanuts on this field again next year. This field usually has pretty bad sclerantina, uh, some other, it has a little bit of pod rot, but not bad. We sprayed for it and everything, but nothing else we could do than what we already did. Almost done. Just two more rounds. Just about done. Even getting a few tumbleweeds stuck on my peanut digger. But I'll clean them up uh, when I'm, once I'm done here. Well, we're done for the day. And that's also gonna be it for this video. As always, I do appreciate y'all for watching. We are most likely gonna finish this field maybe tomorrow or day after, but until then, 
as always, I appreciate y'all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.